Okay, and go. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, YouTubes, I'm Grimwit. This is oxidize. Oxidization. Oxidize. God damn it. Now I gotta look it up, right? I gotta look it up. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> what is this? This is GM oxidation. O X I D A T I O N. I can spell. I'm a man who can spell. That's fine. This is my new obsession. Like, I'm seriously obsessed with this map. And I want to show it off to you guys. Now, here's the deal. Um, this map is very large and complex, but it can be simplified. And I'm going to give you a quick tour. And I'm going to give you a quick tour because I want you to play this map. I want you to play it and help solve it with me. Um, all right, all right, all right. So I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain. This map has a goal. Uh, ultimately, you can just run around this map, running from next box or killing each other. That's fine. That's fine. I, if you know my Gary's Mod maps right now, uh, if you know what I like in Gary's Mod, you know that I'm all about exploration. Um, well, boy, does this one got one for me. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, I'm now in a section that I call the Temple. All locations I have named these. I don't know what the dev calls them. Uh, but this feels like a temple. The goal is to open this door. I know this is a door. Look, there's some purple light on the other side of the door. This door opens. I know this door opens. Don't argue with me. This is an openable door. Another thing is that this door has um, chess piece altars. Um, I will explain this in a second, but there are six of them. And uh, I asked the dev, and he said, "Yeah, these are this. This is something you can you can unlock. And the pieces are there. And although uh, some puzzle pu puzzling might might be necessary, you can get all the pieces without cheating. I want to get all the pieces without cheating. I want to know. I want to know. I don't even care if I figure it out. I just want to know. So along those lines." Because this place is so large, whenever you first get into it, it feels daunting. It feels overwhelmingly complicated. But I have simplified things into different areas, and I'm going to show this to you in my normal way where I don't edit anymore, because I can't, I, can't, I don't have the time, I, I, I have to draw monsters for, for a guy who's paying me a, like a, t a ton of money to, to, he's paying my rent, he's paying my rent and he wants me to draw monsters and I don't have time. Uh, this, I don't think this, does this lead anywhere? No, no, it doesn't. I'm sure that'll come up. Um, there we go. Safe. All right. So everything starts here in the temple, though, including something of like the tutorial area, which is this up here. Yeah, hidden ladder. That's what we're dealing with. That's what we're dealing with. So if you climb up here, though, you get what's called what, what I call the rat man room right and it has some puzzles it has some pictures there is lore there's actual lore to this map In incredible we'll, we'll explore more of that lore later um there is a puzzle piece this is a this is a chess piece this is the first chess piece i believe this is the queen piece because the king had the cross on his head right it's, it's the queen i play chess i swear i swear to god i do play chess i don't know why i can't recognize this piece but that's got to be the queen um, I guess these are clues. I've only found two of the six pieces, and I, I hope this is a clue to where the pieces are. If not, I'm just going to wander around. Of course, there's a vent. We're not going to talk about the vent because I'm going to give you a tour of the main areas. The vent connects everything to everything else. And yeah, there, there is stuff in the vent. There is stuff to find in the vent. But here we are in the tutorial level. We have our first piece, the queen piece, which goes right here. That's one piece down. We did it. We did it, everybody. Now to five, five more. I've only found one more. And I'm going to show it to you as we go through the tour. So let's go through the tour. All right, outside of the temple is the area that I call the shaft. Ooh, this is, that's not what I wanted. That, this, this shaft goes up and down. It's hugely vertical. And yes, there are rooms up there, and there is rooms down there in the lava. Uh, the shaft uh, connects to a few different areas. I'm just going to show you the main areas for now, and then we'll get into the minor areas, assuming I have time. 
uh, because I am kind of racing the clock as well here. Actually, you know what? It's, it's, it would be so much faster if I could teleport. There we go. All right. This area over here is what I call the Tangle. Uh, the Tangle is two levels of tangled up platforms. These platforms don't, like, they don't seem to lead anywhere. There's, there's not much here. Um, especially on the top platform. I think the top platform maybe connects to, like, a vent somewhere. But mostly it just sort of tangles up in itself. And uh, I've checked the shaft up here. I, I did no clip. I try to do as little cheating now, now that I've fully explored the map as possible. But I did no clip up there, and there's nothing up there. There's nothing up there, I think. There's nothing up there, though. Probably. All right. All right, all right. Um, so this is the Tangle. Hi, Tangle. How you doing, Tangle? Uh, the lower Tangle down here does not connect to the upper Tangle. It is just its own thing that dips in and out of lava like you do. Uh, oh, okay. This also is a, a good point, or uh, yeah, this is a good uh, moment to explain that the, uh, the three main lava areas, this being one of the three, um, are connected to each other from above and below. This has a lower area to it, right? And uh, each area has its own rooms. The upper levels do, the middle levels do, and the lower levels do. But since I'm doing a grand tour and not like a detailed tour, we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about that very much. So we're back in the shaft. You can tell because it goes way up high and low. It's a really fucking pretty map. Like, it's really neat. I love this map. I love this map, Dev. Alright, let's climb back up. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, let's go over there. You see that, that that over there? That little hallway over there? That leads to the third main lava area. I call this the well because it's got a big old stairwell that goes up into the city. I'll explain the city in a second. All right. So this uh, stairwell uh, does connect to a few places, but it's simpler than it looks. Uh, for example, these two hallways are just connected to these two hallways as stairs, right? That's all this is. Um, nice little walkway. Really good for like a deathmatch map. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Not my brand, but it's still awesome. Um, okay. So... This area towards the well side of things, the well in the city, has a network of tunnels that are actually carved into the rock. And I think there's only one set of these tunnels. So there, there are two vent complexes, two, two complexes of vents, systems of vents. But there's only one rock network, I think. So let's talk about the city. We're not going to go into the city via there. We're going to go into the city upstairs. Um, gotta love this warp spell. Uh, I'm, I'm addicted to magic. Uh, I am, I'm absolutely addicted to magic. This wand is the best. This is the uh, redo of the Harry Potter wand, and I dig it. All right, so, ah, let's start down there. All right, here we are in the shaft. Gotta keep you, gotta keep you guys oriented. So we're back in the shaft, which is something of the hub, right? Okay. This is the city. The city is a network of different rooms, and I haven't explored all of them, and that's saying something, because I've been looking around this map for a couple of years. By, by which I mean hours. I meant hours. Did I say years? <laughs> it hasn't been out for a couple of years. You're, you're wrong. I'm, I'm not a time traveler. Anyway, the uh, I've been exploring this map for quite a while, and I haven't gone through every single one of these rooms. It's more of I just get lost. This I recognize, because it's unusual, but many of the rooms are just kind of like what's across the hall. Or it's just, hey, look, it's a room. Woo. Um, I don't think you can go through these? Huh. Let's, I mean, let's try and unlock it. I have an unlock spell. I think that's just a wall. I've been unlocking a wall. All right, um, back to the tour. All right, uh, the, the... City does go on. Th don't be fooled. 
this is just another way to the, a different part of the shaft. And that's like par for the course for some of this. Um, so this is still part of the city, right? Yep, there we are. We're back in the shaft. Uh, there is an upper city up there. Uh, let me see. Where's my wand? There we go. All right. The, the upper city is um, more of the same, slightly smaller. I feel like this is like the administration area. This is where all of the uh, big wigs are. Uh, and look, another tunnel that connects to the network. If I remember correctly around here, since it, it does look like there's a lot of empty rooms and that makes you want to pass by without actually examining anything. And that's how he hides shit. That's how he hide. That's how he's been hiding shit. I'll get over the clues later if I got time. All right, there's this. This leads to the well. This is that stair stairwell. There's, there's that staircase. So that's that's what this is about. And actually, I think this also connects to the middle part. Or yeah, it connects to the the city again, on this side. Huh. I'm gonna learn something new. Okay, now we got to talk about the mosaic, which is the fourth lava area. So the first lava area is here, the shaft. The second one is on the other side of the shaft in the tangle. The third area is below the city in what I call the well. And the fourth one is the mosaic. And the mosaic might mean something, might mean nothing, can't be sure. Let's uh, zip around again. Love teleportation. And let me introduce it to you properly. Yeah, let's do it upstairs this way so that you don't get uh, get lost here. I don't want you to get lost. I want you to get Gary's mod and play this map because I need brains, guys. I need brains on this map because there's puzzle solving. We'll get to the puzzle solving in a second, but I need brains. I need your help because I'm curious. I need to know. This is what I call the hallways. These nice big, co uh, it's it's not as complex, but the, like it, it leads to places nowhere else leads, except for these two hallways, which just lead back to the shaft. This is the upper shaft, this is the lower shaft. Actually, it's, that looks like a really fun slide. Hang on, hang on. Yeah! We. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. All right, anyway, um, if we go over here, you'll find that it's just the, the end of this hallway leads to the shaft in a different area. I think that's the temple up there. No, oh, ooh, ooh. Um, but, uh, all right, across the way, if we run up this, this hallway leads back to the shaft in the upper area. This leads to what I call the spike room. And now here's the thing with the spike room. I cheated, but only a little bit. And I don't understand what it means. So I have a wand and one of the things that this wand can do, the very reason that I got it, is it has an un unlock ability of uh, Alhamora. And it just so happens that whether you hit the right trigger or not, it doesn't matter. This wand will unlock whatever it is. And here's the mysterious part. I unlocked the floor. I don't know what it means. The moment I did this, I, I did it on accident, but the moment I did, I realized, oh, I need to stop. Because that's not solving the puzzle. That's not solving the puzzle. That's not an answer. That's just brute forcing your way in there. Anybody can, anybody can like, data mine to brute force a, a puzzle. That's not fun. And I want to have fun. And I want people to figure this out. You can barely see it up there. That's the second piece. That little dot, you see that? See that? Actually, if I use the camera and zoom in, whoop, uh, I didn't mean to do that. And zoom in this way, you can see it a little bit better. Now I did no clip up there to see what it was. It is the pawn. This is the only other piece I have found, and I don't know how to get it. Like, I could just no clip up there and grab it, but, like, that's... Where, how, how do you do it without that? 
Dev said that you can do it without cheating. It's just involved. This might be like the last piece, I don't know. It's the only other piece I've found. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. All right. The mosaic is also connected to the... Uh... We. The mosaic is also connected to the, uh, the hallways. So this is the mosaic. And it might be my imagination. This kind of looks like the area that I'm in. And look, here's a little dude. Pro probably, probably not. The mosaic is a super simple room. Uh, there's not much to it. It is a platform that goes up and around and down to the bottom. Um, yeah, that's it. That's, that is literally all there is to this room. Uh, let's get a higher view. Teleportation isn't cheating. Okay. Oh! Oh! I needed to prove to you guys that the kill box is there and that the lava does kill you. And it kills you instantly, so... Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, here we are back at the shaft. Let me go ahead and load up on my gear. Therapy cat. All right, um, what else do I need to show you before we start getting into things? Because I'm still giving you the tour, right? Uh, let me see here. Zip up here. Hmm. Still not sure how the teleportation spell works. Oh, yeah, the ventilation system. That should be the next thing that I show you. All right, so here's the thing with the vents. Uh, there are two sets of vents, one on this side and one on this side, and they all connect to things. I found something in the vents, and I want to show it off to you. But the fastest way to get to it is actually from the Ratman room. So let's go back over there, if I can remember. That was not the right spell. You ever do that? You ever just say the wrong words and cause things? Like, you accidentally trip, and you're like... Oops, I recited the Bible. Yeah. Yeah, that happens in games a lot because you misclick. But that's what's happening if you if you translate the fiction. It's like, oh no, I didn't mean to punch you. Alright, so in here, in the vents. And thank you, dev. Thank you, developer. For making the vents something I can stand up in. So I didn't have to crouch walk the entire way. That would have been intensely annoying. Thank you. All right, so if we go down here and uh, I think take a left or a right, I think the left. Yeah, if we go left, yeah, we get here. We'll check this shit out, right? Um, this is, I need, I need light. So this right here, um, Occasionally you'll find little images like this, which is cool. I like these little images. They're lore, and I'm not 100% sure how this works exactly. I assume there's multiverse stuff going on here, and alcohol. Clearly alcohol. Uh, the other thing is, you probably saw it, there's writing. Yeah? Yeah. There's writing. Candence here, candence there, candence gone, candence reflected. What is candence? What does candence mean? Um. Candence may love on the moment I can't remember her name, but this is hard to read, but I know the candence her seeds deep with, within the bowels. Candence is Candence a, a name? Is is the is there a woman named Candence? Candence, the Heartland. What is that? Faculty? No. Far f is gone within trance. Candence and then scribble, 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 scribble. 
the waiting. I don't know what that means. That's why I need brains. I need your brain. Your brain. I need you. YouTube. My, my tens, no, ones of, of, of viewers. I need you in Gary's Mod. And I need you to get GM uh, Oxidation. Uh, Alright, so what I should have done is I should have... Am I going the right way? Uh-oh. It's fine. Yay! I got back to this kind of the place where I want to be. So there's an another thing I want to show you as far as clues go. And there are clues all over. Like I said, it's tempting to run through rooms without actually seeing what's in the rooms. Um, if we go upstairs... Um... Oh, I'm... oh well. It's just hit points. I have more. If we go upstairs to the top of the shaft, and we go into this room... this room? No, this room. Over here. There's a horseshoe-shaped room that leads to a network of tunnels. The tunnels are deceptive because they look super complicated. They're not. It is two outward tunnels surrounding a complex of inward tunnels. This is the maze, but both of these are just like, yeah, whatever. And they lead to these two rooms over here. Uh, clearly some slag happened. Uh, cave -in? I'm assuming this is a cave -in. Um, do I have something that breaks? Do I have a spell that breaks shit right? I don't know what that did. What does this spell do? Oh, shit. Alright. Wait. Why doesn't this do anything? So whatever this texture is, isn't doing it for my spell. I believe this is a spell for just breaking shit. Like, not doing damage to people, but just like breaking shit. I don't know. I just, I do have just regular grenades. I could do that. And I have a spell for Fuller Auto. I love that spell. But neither of these things are really what I'm using. All right, this isn't a Harry Potter showcase. This is an oxidation showcase. Okay, check this shit out. Lore, ladies and gentlemen, lore. All right, whatever happened, it was at 0% in 1996. Hey, I know that year. That I was like 20? Boy. Fuck, I'm old. I didn't... I, I don't look this old from the inside. Mm. Okay, so, uh, whatever happened, it, it bad, and it caused the planet to shrink slightly and um, do a spiral graph with uh, reality and or gravity. So it, it was bad. Uh, this happened in the far future of 2023. Now, fortunately, we, we don't live in 2023 now, right? Right. So we don't have to worry about this happening, like, instantly. Um, lore, sure. But I'm guessing there's going to be some puzzle solving using this as well. This guy, this guy didn't just do this uh, offhand. There's a feeling of, um, what's the word? Deliberateness to these placements, which makes me want to find them all again. That's, that's what's driving me is there's a feeling like he had a plan. I'm not saying like Marble Hornet's complicated plan. I'm just saying he had a plan or it feels like he had a plan. Dev, if you're out there. Tell me if you had a plan or if I'm just like imagining this in my head, which is also fine. I don't, I don't mind playing that. I play, I play Star Forge. I'm good at imagining and, and writing shit. So let me see, what else is there to show you? What else do I know? Let me think. Um... Oh, there is one more place I need to show off. I think it's connected via the halls. Let's go over there.
So this big long hallway that I showed off earlier, um, I'm trying to remember. Oh no, it's um, it's under the shaft. Is how you get to it. So we got to go down, down, down. This is what uh, teleportation was actually made for. All right, now I need to get down there. Uh, I could do it the normal way, or I could actually... Uh, let's do it the normal way. Uh, because teleportation is great if you already know the layout of this uh, world. But you guys don't. What? What the, Have I? What? Bottles! Um... Okay, it's over there. There is a doorway way the hell over here, underneath the temple. You could actually call this the Under Temple, I guess. But I wouldn't call it that too loudly. This leads up... Uh... I think past the temple, actually. But we don't want that. We want this. Do we want this? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Um... There's this little area right here and I've kind of walked around it a little bit it's uh, it's again it's simpler than it looks it has the main hub right here and then it branches to two little loops of rooms one here and one on the other side that one branches over there we'll explore that in a second and I don't know what it means I don't know what any of this means I'll be honest I'm still I can't believe I've been wandering around an empty map for like two hours, just enraptured, and on this Easter egg hunt, right? I've just been thinking about it. Like, how do I open the spikes? All right, this, uh, where does this lead? Oh, leads here. I could have just led you from here. Cool. All right, um, you know what? I think that's gonna do it. I think. I think that's all I know within my memory. At least for now. I might revisit. I'm, I'm telling you, even though you've seen most of the map, I might revisit this later in a later video. Um, Gary's Mod. GM Oxidation. I have started a discussion for this map for other people who play it in hopes that I can start figuring out the the puzzles like okay were I a mapper were I a mapper I would hide a secret passage somewhere in the bottom lava level I wonder if that's what the tangle is for Hmm. Um, let's leave it here. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about going through the tangle now and looking for hidden passages in the walls. Are these walls solid? Are all of these walls solid? Do I have a spell that unsolified thing? No, I don't. I can't. I can't keep relying on the spells. I assume there's clues, right? Do I need to rub my nose against the wall like this? Let's leave it here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, that fit neatly in a 30-minute video, and um, yeah, ta everyone. Uh, everyone have nothing but fun. Aloha. Goodbye. Avida Sane. See ya.